What is going on, everybody? This is Mega from Mega X Anime's X Openings, and welcome to another Ramfi tu tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to make a a basic splash screen, and I'm gonna also going to go a little bit into tran into transitions as well. Now, before we begin, let me I'm gonna just going to do a quick reminder that our, I will be using Ramfi throughout these two tutorials. Now, if you don't know what Ramfi is, I, I did a full 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 tutorial on it in in a in my previous screen capture video and you can check that in the link below. If you haven't seen that video and you don't know what Ramfi is, I highly recommend you, you you check out that video so you can be all brushed up on on everything you need to know on, on what Ramfi is. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Now that that's out 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 of the way, we're gonna let, let me just kind of cover go a little bit about what what a splash screen is. Basically, a, a, a splash screen is a little mm, sort of like an a, little an, a, animation that you put at, at the beginning of your game, and 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 and, and it tells the player ev everything that all the companies that were I involved in making the game, and it also it, 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 I I would actually con compare a splash screen to be basically like a a watermark that you put on an image to pr basically pr pr prevent someone from from stealing your work and which is very important for if, if you want to like actually sell your game so well, without further ado let's 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 begin to, to to start first off make sure you have your 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 uh, game so selected and go go ahead and, and open your 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 script.remfi and your options.remfi to, to open it you you just simply click on them click on them both and and j and the files will be opened in 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 j edit the the text editor that comes with remfi so first off we're, we're, we're gonna go into dive right into to options because there are there are a couple of options in here that we need to change and what this is going to do is, is it's going to make the game look more smooth than, than, than it currently is. So first off, we're going to scroll down until we see mm, end splash tra transition. And we're going to mm, change this to dissolve. Now this is a basic, mm, this is a, a basic tra tra transition. What dissolve does is, is that it's basically a fade, fade transition and it allows, mm, it basically just like mm, makes it so that the current image dissolves and fades away and and the next image comes into view slowly and and also the mm, dissolves into view it's a it's actually the transition i use most often because it's very useful and just like any other transition you it, it has mm, the ability that that you can modify it but I will go over that into further detail like later on. That's a, that's a whole other topic. All right. Next off, we're gonna scroll down until we see after load, and we're gonna we're, and we're gonna do the same thing we did for the other one. We're gonna change none to dissolve. What this does is that it 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 tells Remfi to to do a a dissolve transition once the game game loads. Next, we're going to go down to ADV, and as you can see, it's already enabled. So we're not going to change anything here. Well, what an ADV and MVL is is that they're basically just just a style of text boxes, and I'll be covering those later on. Just to like make sure that the the ADV and an MVL transitions are. are are set to dissolve because you're going to want that and finally going to go down to yes and no and we are what you're going to do is that you're going to do the same thing you're going to set, set it to dissolve and if you want to you can also do it for hidden and i guess i'll do it but you don't have to do it now what 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 all these are going to do again? It's just going to make the game look better, and this is optional. But I highly recommend you do this. So now, next off, let's let's dive right into actually making 
making a, a splash screen. But before that, very important, make sure you save. Anytime you're 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 you're, you're making the game in Renfi, if you don't save it, it's not gonna it's it's, it's not gonna go over to your game. Anytime you you save in JEdit, all all the programming that you do in JEdit is gonna go into your game. So you want to make sure that you save before moving on, because it's not gonna change anything if you, if you don't save. Okay, now moving on. Now we're gonna go over to here, and as you can see, there, there there's a comment here that that says that the game starts here. What you want to do is you want to go to a line above that, and I like to do anytime like I'm adding something new programming wise, I like to do a double space to like give myself some more space, and just for your benefit, I'm I'm gonna add a comment here and say. This is where the splash screen starts. This is where the splash screen starts. This is just for your benefit. You you, you don't have to do this. Like like I said said in the previous video, comments are are for your benefit, and they like tell you. It, it makes it easier for for you to see where everything is. So now, first thing we're gonna do to create the splash screen is just like I said in the previous video. Mm, a, 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 a label is, is basically mm, a container, will, which will, which mm, contains every like mm, scene that mm, that that is a part of that label. For la going back to the to the example I gave last time, if you have a a, a collection of scenes of, of of a character going to school, you would have a label called going to school, because that's where all the scenes go. So, can you guess what what's what what type of label we're we're gonna make this? We're gonna call we're gonna make this we're gonna make a splash screen label, and I I, I just like to call my splash screen label splash screen, so it's just e really easy to to understand what what this label is for. Then after you name it, anytime that you name a label, you have to do a colon after that. <laughs> then press enter. And there you go, your, your your label is created. Once you press enter, Renfri will automatically put you on the next line and give you a tab, which is going to make it work, actually work. Next, we're going to use a new programming statement called scene. A scene is 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 basically just like what the game, the basically your scenes in 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 the game. Without the scenes, what's great about scenes is that you don't have to hide anything. You, you don't have to hide stuff. So once you're done with a particular sprite, all you need to do is that just show a, a new sprite, and it will, and the and the and the previous sprite will, will, will automatically hide, which decreases like problems you you could have later on. So I highly recommend using sprite scenes a lot. Okay, now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add something called we're, we're gonna type black. What this does is that it creates a black screen on the just creates a black screen. And next, we're gonna type the dollar sign and then remfi dot pause. This just tells Renfi to, to pause the screen for a set period of time, and you place the um, the amount of seconds you want 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 the screen to be paused, and want the the previous image to to be displayed, and, and it, it, this tells Renfi how, how long you want the previous image to be be displayed for. I like to set this for three seconds, but you can set it for for the amount of time that you want. And so next off, gonna do a double space to like separate a little bit for our programming style. Next, we're gonna do show text, and this tells, and this is one of the ways you can show text in in, in, in There, there, there is another way you can show text, but mm, that's for text boxes, which I'll be covering later on. 
And now for this one, anytime you want to add text text to to a game, you all you always do it inside quotation marks. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just do a ra random text. Um, this is a uh, grumpy tutorial. Now next, I'm gonna show you a little trick that you can do to to style style it a little bit. Let's say you want text to be on. Mm, 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 let's say you want you want like a, a second line of text to, 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 to display under this. What you you're gonna do is what's called an 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 escape sequence. And basically, an, an escape sequence is it's just like a a little thing that you place at the end of a mm, at the end of a pro programming statement, and and it tells the computer that that this is the end of this line, and to put the 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 rest of of the text on a second line, and so to do the escape sequence, we're just going to do forward slash n a, and well, whatever you put after this, the 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 escape sequence appears on a second line. Uh, let's see, what should I put? N a. Made by, made by Mega, I guess. And after that, after that, we're, I'm gonna add with dissolve. In order to actually add, add a uh, a transition to a to a to to the game, you have to type with the keyword with. This basically tells Renfi that let's say you want to display a sprite, and you you want the the sprite to be displayed with the the the, 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 the dissolve transition. With tells tells Renfi to add the dissolve transition. That's all it is. Next, at the end of the transition, I'm gonna do another pause. And for for the second pause, I like to do it for for two seconds, but you can do it for, for as long as you want. And now, for the next one, we're gonna actually add some music to the game. To to add music t to a game, you're gonna do play music and. You're, you would do quotation marks, and then you put the name of the song, and then the the type of file it is. Let's say the music file is an MP3 file. You would put it there. You would put it just like that. Now, when you add music to a to, to a game, it will not work unless the the song song the audio file is in your game folder so you need to have it in in your game folder in order for it to work since this is just a, like a made up file that i made that, that i made up if i was to try and render this like i, I mean uh try and launch this game i would get get a syntax error because remfi could, could not file, find that file in the game file in 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 the game folder so so yeah next we're gonna do hide text with dissolve. So this tells tells Rumpy to hide the text that you did earlier and, and, and do it with a dissolve transition. And finally, just two more programming statements. We're gonna do another pause. And then to conclude, I'm gonna do return. What return? As I said before, return put put brings an end to the label, and and it, it tells Ramfi to go back to the to the main menu. And that's it. That's basically how how you do a dissolve transition. I 
in in the next tutorial I will be covering how to actually uh, I um, actually I have no idea what, what, what I'll be covering in, in the next tutorial but actually you know what before we go I'll actually remove the music so I can actually show you what the what the what, how the how the game looks with with the with the new transition in it. So I'm gonna save it. But but remember, if you want to add music to it, it the, the 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 programming statement for it is play music. Quote quotation marks the name of the song, dot, and the name of the file, and the file type. And that's it. And to stop music, you just do stop music. Okay, so let's launch, let's launch this this uh this game, and so I can show you what it looks like. And there you go. I, I, as you can see, it's not much of a splash screen, but it, it it's a basic splash screen, which is what I like to do for whenever I make a game. So yeah, this has been Mega from Mega X Animes X Openings, and I will see you again next time.